at the 2023 Desert Invitational, kicking off the new college baseball season. If you're not a fan of college baseball, that's a youth problem. It's Tennessee and Arizona. The starter for the Wildcats, T.J. Nichols. Not always consistent, but you have all the ingredients there to be a top two rounds pick in the draft. That's the first, five. first pitch, 95 miles per hour. Redshirt sophomore grounds it to short. And is retired for out number one. Reloaded. Like, it, it, there's going to be no drop off. I'm not saying they'll be number one for most of the season, but I, I bet they have a good get back to Omaha. It's going to get down for Christian Moore. A one out base hit for the Vols second baseman. Larger bases are here. Christian Moore takes off toward one. Hit and run is on and worked to perfection as Burke goes into center field. The Vols have it first and third with one out. One of the things uh, Coach Bitello was uh, was working on right out of the shoot yesterday in their workouts is running the bases and running the bases right. Gets a great jump here, does Christian Moore. Certainly there for his bat. That bat puts a fly ball into left center field. Bingham is underneath it. Tagging up is Moore, and he will score. Good Tennessee on the border. Buried in the count like this, they may try to get him to to second base. Strike three called. Nichols gets out of the first inning. Back-to-back, -back, one out singles and a sack fly. The ball's on top of the Wildcats, one nothing. And given Chase Dolander's track record, Jim Callis, that one might be enough. It happens sometimes, now. Yes, it does. <laughs> Dolander Ooh. came off, and it hits him. Lead off, batter aboard for Arizona. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Davis sprung up, strike three. More of a gap to gap guy. There's some contact. Will it get down? It will. Base hit to left field for Caulfield. And because it kind of hung up. Some scouting greens for Dolander. Jim, if you could explain that to the young or casual fan, what we're seeing on the left part of the screen. Yeah, we, we use a 20 to 80 scale to, to scout in, in baseball. 50 represents average, CAA Division One. I. I mean, it's all there, but like, I agree with you, Ruben. He's just, he's, you can see the stuff. He's just not commanding it like he usually does. It's a little colder tonight, too. 2 1 pitch, sent to right field. Scott pushed back a little bit. Runner tagging at third and will score to tie the game. Found his way home to Tucson. Speaks well of you. One time team. Dolander strikes him out to end the first inning, but not before the Wildcats make the ball's ace work and tie the game on him. It's 1 1 after 1. Shot through the left side by Logan Chambers. Senior leads off the second with a base hit. Consecutive state titles. Ground ball to the right side. Caulfield to McClary for a one to first. Not in time for the second. Got to believe the good runner will be going here on a 3-2 count. He with one out. And he holds him. Taylor called out on strikes. Vitello knows his players better than I do. Three swinging. Nichols. Second K of the inning. Third overall. Come over. He just another good memory. Oh! And they're giving That's, me a good memory right yeah. now. <laughs> That's great. That's, I should stay here, whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I think Chip's going to make you do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, Come on, man. That's Tony Bullard who launches one to left field off Dolander and gives the Wildcats a 2-1 <laughs> lead. One of the things that you really wanted is get back to left field again. Uh, but thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the night here. Uh, thank you. Gracias. 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 Juan Soto, star for the San Diego Padres. He's, he's awesome. Amped up for this game and, and uh, try to do too much. And that's just part of it. You know, we work on breathing. We work on all those different things with our, our middle, middle coaches. And, uh, do the best we can, but um, he's going to uh, he's going to be in that situation where just like that close pitch, it's okay. You know, he's, he's around his zone. We're fine with that. 
seems to be a little disagreement here. And I'm <laughs> yeah, loud noises. I'm very happy with the umpire. Yeah, I'm way down here and <laughs> past the third base uh, bag here, so I don't know what went on there, but it looked like he wanted timeout. They're not, that's the new thing. They're not going to give him timeout. They don't have to, and they want the games to roll on, and, uh, you know, we want to make these games quicker. We're trying to get better at the 22nd clock, and um, you guys will have to deal with it in the Pro Bowl. The old 86 uh, design that we, uh, yeah, we brought him back, and we did put the names on the back, which is a little little change. One <laughs> pair of black Converse turfs and a pair of black uh, uh, spikes, and that's all we had, so there was no issues with it. Come together. Strike three, swinging. Swing forced to make a throw down to first. He handles that fine. 2-2 two -two pitch coming to Caulfield. That's three. Dolander has his fifth strikeout of the evening. And now he's focused on his starting pitcher getting out of the third. And he does. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Dolander. And we appreciate you doing this. Up first and foremost, as there's a ground ball to short for out number one. All right, give us your read on your team this year, because the balls last year was such a lightning rod, and there's so much attention being paid to you guys. Number two team in the country. Where are you? Yeah, I think I'm I'm like the other coaches. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what happens. And that's because, you know, the last three years where we kind of, you know, 20 is a unique year, 2020. But three years prior to this, we kind of had a pretty good grasp on what we were and what we weren't. Uh, and it was because we had a lot of mainstays in the program and guys that had a lot of tenure. And, and this is just a group that, you know, with the guy at the plate, I mean, we've been around him for a few years, but he hasn't been out there every day. So you don't know how he's going to be as a leader. And I could go on with a bunch of other examples. So it's going to be a learning process. And I think it'll be a fun one with these guys. Hey, Tony, I'm really impressed by the way you guys go about your business. And the first thing I saw when you guys working out was going around the horn to each base and talking uh, base running. Talk about the importance of, of playing fundamental, good sound fundamental baseball. Well, I mean, in, the, in our league, the room for error is, is very tiny, or you could look at it as the margin between win and loss is incredibly small. Um, and on top of that, you got all the media, TV coverage, the fans, and, and really Arizona, um, you, you can say whatever league you know, you're playing in, but this is an SEC caliber team or a top level team. And so the margin for error is, is incredibly small. So you need to hit on every, every single basis, whether it be the base running deal or bunt defense, you name it. And, you know, we've done as best we can to this point, but it's going to be a learning process throughout the year. Well, Tony, your team didn't want us to talk to you for very long. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, <laughs> that end of it, nice but obviously we want some offense. Mm -hmm. get Nick Jarrett. Got back at his alma mater, a strikeout for Dolander. The, the freshman, that's... Nice introduction to college baseball, and you get to face Chase Dolan during your first game. The ground out induced by Dolan. Jared Dickey takes a 2-2 to left field. Davis pushed back toward the track just in front of it. He reaches up and makes the grab. And hits into it. Yeah, I mean, we've only been there for a couple days, but just, you know, getting to meet everybody. Nice piece of hit right there. Uh, keep going, Daniel, TV guy. I know. i gotta got to keep it out here. Going off tonight, and that's this competitive nature that he has. You know, he's not afraid of anybody. He's not afraid of bright lights. He's not afraid of it. You know, Did, I think it's showing tonight. Tell me you saw that take from Nick McCleary there. He licked his lips and kicked dirt back at back. Oh, at, same, same thing. Look at that. Can't beat Nick McCleary. On Man, the line. Good, good, good piece. Dickie, a great center fielder, running it down. Clear with a little shuffle there at the end. Uh, Get down. Get down. Off, Get down. The, off the end of the bat, down. charging in. That's down. Dickey. It is down. Bad read. I don't think they saw it. I think center fielder thought right fielder was getting it. Right fielder thought center fielder was getting it. I could speak Croatian to him and tell him every pitch that's coming, we just know. <laughs> and, you know, he's going to show it tomorrow, I think. You know, he's going to do a great job. And if he doesn't, he'll do it the next time. That pitch. Oh. Whoa. Pull the right side. Kiko Romero make a play. This team's going to have to gel a little bit. Eighth pitch. Got Booker swinging. Nichols with strikeout number six. They weren't Scouts weren't coming here only to see Dolander because only a couple yes. teams are going to have a shot to draft him. But T.J. Nichols really helped himself. Bobble by Caulfield. Could not recover to make the play. The last Tennessee hit was leading off the second inning. 
Fly ball to left field, and Davis has a read. They lost in the championship game in 2016 with the tying run on third in the ninth inning, winning run on second. Allerson with a punch out. Really important for them. They're rhythm hitters. They have to get that foot down before getting into that launch position. Popped up. Tough play. The lights and the win, but it is made third base by Denton. Orloff, the left-hander. Ground ball. Play made. McClary across the diamond. Romero couldn't make this pick on the other end. Paint. Called strike three. Orloff's first. First pitch grounder. Bounce to Romero. He goes to second to get the lead runner. They're not going to turn two. 2-1 to Moore. Saw it off right side. Hustling down. And they get him. To shut them down so we can try to come back and win this thing. Explain the ground to the left side. Who wants it? And both were charging. Jazz Love and Denton goes off the glove, the third baseman, and allows Splain to reach. Yeah, everybody assumes, hey, it's it's you know automatic. You're going to throw harder. You throw harder because of the grueling rehab process, and your body basically ground ball to short. Gobbled up by Jazz Love, and he steps on second for the last out of the seventh. One struck out six. It's a little flare to left field. A leadoff knot. Swings and miss. Big strikeout for Orloff. A quality change up Ooh. there. Calmer than it was earlier this afternoon. One two pitch now. Swing and a miss. Another K for Orloff. Tying run on first base. Two outs in the eighth. And pitch grounded to third base. Snagged by Bullard. Throws across in time. Bullard has the go-ahead bomb and has the play to preserve the lead in the eighth. Alverson, another strikeout. Attack on an extra insurance run if they could. Fly ball, right field at the track. There is Scott. Kiko Romero with two out, offers at the first pitch, it's slicing, left center field, bounces down and in. Movie. Yeah, that Haiti. was his coach. He's little league coach, and he goes to the gap in left center, and he gets one down. Romero being waved around third. The insurance run you were talking about, the Wildcats got. One more time. Ball four. The one two to Tony Bullard. High, and I mean high in the air, left field. Out number three. So the big story for Tennessee today, once again, if you hopped on late, just turning on the game. Maui Ahuna, star transfer shortstop from Kansas. Did not make his volunteer debut today. NCAA ruling still has not come down to Tennessee. So Jazz loves starting. And finish up with the ground out to second base. Start. Flare to right field. That gets down. Just in front of Casa Grande, who did not want to risk laying out and missing it and giving Stark an extra base. Heavy shift on the right side, and he pulls it. Wow, what a play! Good scatter report, I guess. The one-two to Dickey. Oh, Cold strike three ends the game. And Arizona wins it three to one.